Hello and welcome to another update video and tutorial about Bybit. Today we want to talk about the DCA bot on Bybit. It's pretty, pretty self-explanatory, but some of you might want to have some guidance. And um, I had a few requests and also an email after my last video about a grid bot here on Bybit to explain, I had a request to explain how a DCA bot works. So we do that, it won't be a very long video. Um, you do go to tools and here you can see actually a trading bot. So we clicked on that in the last video already in the last um, update. And we talked in the last one about the spot grid bot. So if you're interested in that and uh, if you want to have support by a grid bot to help you buy and sell, then uh, check out my last video. This In this video we want to talk about the DCA bot. So you click on that, but you can see the grid bot is actually the most popular one. Then you've got the futures grid bot and then you've got the DCA bot here, which not too many people use. However, there are still around 2000 active bots. So first of all, what does it actually do? Now, first of all, it's very simple here. How do you create it? Um, you select the currency. So this is obviously the one that I want to pay with, in this case, USDT. Then you want to select the cryptocurrency that you want to invest in. So most people might select BTC or ETH, or you can even select both. Confirm that. And then you select how much or how many USDT in a given time period. For example, here, every, let's say every two weeks, I want to invest. How many USDT per coin I want that bot to invest. So it's a very hands-off approach. So I could say, right, every every two weeks, I wanna put, I don't know, 150 USDT in BTC. Not that much maybe in ETH because I, you know, I find it a bit more, it's a bit more risky, I don't know, you know, not, not my opinion, but, you know, some people might think that. So, so you can you can select the um, the value, you know, yourself, you can change it by cryptocurrency. You could say, okay, maybe because I think Ethereum has a bit more potential, I'll put a little bit more into it, 200 USDT every two weeks. And that's already it. I don't have any balance on here at the moment on this account, but that's how you do it. And it's very simple. And you just click create now. There's one more thing that you can do. You can select the maximum investment amount. So if you want the bot to stop as soon as a certain amount has been reached, maybe you say, okay, after 10 weeks or whatever, how many weeks um, I wanted to finish, then you can select that. You just put the right number of, or the amount of USDT in. Or you say, okay, I know that I want to have a maximum exposure to, let's say, Ethereum of uh, whatever, to 2,000 USDT or let's say 20,000, depending on how long you want it to run for. And you just type in 20,000 USDT and it will stop investing then. And then you can just create now and it will start auto-investing for you. Now be aware that this is great, this, this is hands-off. Um, be aware that obviously you keep your coins on the exchange if it does that. Um, so just be aware that from time to time you may want to move your, your, your funds depending on how much it is and what you feel comfortable with from an exchange. It could be any exchange, it doesn't need to be Bybit, um, but from any exchange to your hardware wallet. Yeah, I would recommend a hardware wallet or at least a software wallet, but hardware wallets are safer. Also, you can check out our website, morecryptoonline.com for some more tips. But um, you just want to make sure I also only keep the funds on the exchange that I need for trading. And then I always, in regular intervals, put everything onto my ledger or Trezor. I use both hardware wallets. It's just something to keep thinking of, especially when you're new in crypto. But it's a hands-off approach, you know. And if you don't want to, you know, log in every whatever, every week, every two weeks to buy crypto, it also helps you to get rid of the emotions because, you know, if you have a plan, for example, you say, all right, in the bear market, I want to, I want to invest um, regularly into, into cryptocurrencies, but I don't, you know, want to log in every week or I might forget about it. Or I know that I'm very emotional, for example. So if Bitcoin makes a lot of movements, I may not want to invest and then I miss an opportunity and whatever. Just let the bot do it. It is very simple. It will just invest at the current price and then you will um, step by step build your portfolio. Now, you certainly want to do it. Um, you certainly want to set yourself an alert because, for example, if Bitcoin goes above maybe 30K or 35K, you may not want to continue to DCA or if it gets above 40K. So you may want to think about a limit, set yourself an alert that you get notified when Bitcoin 
is going above a certain level and then you might want to stop DCAing because you think, all right, I have DCA'd enough in this bear market. We're now getting into attractive price ranges where at some point you may actually want to realize some profits. Okay, and that is a tutorial about how to set up a DCA bot. It's all about dollar cost averaging. Hope you liked the tutorial. If you like to support more crypto online, then you can use the affiliate link to sign up and create an account on Bybit. And other than that, I hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.